Great news, everyone. Kling has just released its paid subscription plans, offering extended capabilities like generating longer videos, end frames, advanced camera movements, and watermark removal. The best part is that for the first week only, you can get 50% off. The free plan remains available, but now you have the option to choose from three paid plans. The cheapest one costs $5 per month with the discount, regularly $10, and includes 660 credits per month. You can choose to subscribe monthly, quarterly, half-yearly, or yearly. For comparison, Runway ML's cheapest plan costs $12 per month with a yearly subscription and offers more tools. On the other hand, Luma AI's plan starts at $23.99 per month with a yearly subscription. Clearly, Kling offers the best prices. I purchased a subscription and, as you can see, I now have 3,066 credits. Let's test it out. First, I'll generate a video of a pod of dolphins playing in the ocean, keeping the settings at default and selecting a camera movement. The master shot movements are available only with the pro plan. I'll also enter a negative prompt to minimize distortion and morphing. This generation costs 10 credits. Using the same prompt, I'll generate another video in professional mode and extend the length to 10 seconds. This will cost 70 credits so I hope it's worth it. Note that generating videos in professional mode takes at least 10 minutes. While waiting, I'll create more videos, starting with standard mode and then using professional mode. Both dolphin videos are ready. The standard video is on the left and the professional one is on the right. Neither is perfect, both have morphing. However, I prefer the standard one. The water is bluer and the dolphins look more accurate. For this comparison, the extra credits for professional mode weren't worth it. The skier videos also have issues. In the left video, the skier's movement is a bit off while the right video adds extra limbs to the skier mid-air. I like the camera movements in both, but the professional modes movement which follows the skier up and down is better. The background in the standard video looks nicer, making this a tie overall. Here's where the professional mode really shows its value. The fighters on the left look very distorted, with significant morphing, sometimes making them appear as one entity. The fighters on the right look much more realistic, with only minor morphing in their hands and fingers. Clearly, the professional mode video is the better choice here. Go here to download your video. With my paid plan, I now have the option to download it either with or without a watermark. Before exploring the other paid features, let's revisit some of the flawed videos from my previous Kaling tutorial and see if using the professional mode can improve them. For instance, there's a video of a basketball player attempting a dunk, which had issues. I'll extend the video and use a negative prompt to hopefully reduce morphing and distortion. Unfortunately, the result is actually worse. The animation is poor, with significant distortion and morphing. Next, let's look at the video featuring a lady walking down a Tokyo street. In the standard version, her face and hands appeared weird and distorted. Now, in the professional mode version, there's a noticeable improvement. The woman's face and hands look much better, and the bright neon colors add to the overall quality of the video. You might have noticed the Extend 5 Seconds option. Clicking on it offers the choice between Auto Extend or Customized Extend, each costing 35 credits. Let's try the customized option. Here, you can enter a specific prompt that will be used to guide the extension of the video. Below, you'll find the extension history, which includes the original prompt as well as all subsequent prompts used to extend the video. I'll try to create a zoom in and out effect on the woman's face, similar to the effect used in the Sora video. 
However, there wasn't much difference between the videos after the extension, which only added four seconds. Additionally, it didn't achieve the zoom effect on the woman's face. The last feature I want to test is the end frame option, which allows you to create an animated video by specifying the first and last frames. This feature is available only in professional mode. To use it, toggle the option on, then click on the respective areas to upload your images. I have some images of an old man holding a photo album that I think might produce some interesting results. Entering a prompt is optional, but I'll use a simple one and keep the other settings at default. This generation will cost 35 credits. I like the result, but it might have been better if the book looked exactly the same in both images, as most of the odd animation involves the book. There's also some distortion in his eyes, but it's not too bad. Next, I'm curious to see if we can animate a man transforming into a werewolf. I used an image of a man partially transformed into a werewolf as the starting frame and a full werewolf as the end frame. However, there was little animation, mainly just black bars rolling up to reveal the transformation and some zooming in and out. I tried adjusting the creativity setting and removing the prompt, but the werewolf didn't move. The starting image had black bars, which might have affected the animation. For the final one, I used an image of glitter and stardust along with a storybook illustration of a little girl in a magical forest. I didn't use a prompt and kept the default settings. This one turned out great. The swirl of glitter transitioned beautifully into the trees and flowers in the second image. It's very creative and visually appealing. After testing the paid features, I believe they're worth the investment. At a competitive price, you can create videos with one of the best generators available today. Plus, it's 50% off for the first week. So if you're considering a subscription, it's a good idea to take advantage of the sale. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think it's worth the money? Please share your comments below and let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching.